Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be making an audio video cable for our Commodore 64. Uh, we will be using an RCA cable for this and we will also have an 8 pin DIN socket. However, we will be using only 5 pins of this. So we will have to do some manipulation on uh, this socket as well. So by the end of the video, hopefully we will be able to get audio video signals uh, from our Commodore 64. Once again, let's see what is required to make the cable. First, you need soldering equipment. Second, you'll require a regular DIN connector. I have purchased 8-pin connectors. However, I recommend a 5-pin connector for this cable because for the signal cable, we're using only 3 pins. In addition to this, the 8-pin slot of the Commodore 64 uses an irregular connector, which you will hardly find in the market. That's why we'll remove the top two pins of the regular 8-pin connector. The last component is an RCA male-to-male -male cable. Here I'm using a cable with three jacks on each side. However, two is also sufficient since the Commodore 64 has mono audio output. Here you can see the pinout of the Commodore 64 audio video jack. We will be using pins 2, 3 and 4. We'll solder the grounds of both audio and video RCA cables to pin 2. We'll solder the audio output to pin 3. And finally, we'll solder the video output to pin 4. Actually, with this information, you can start to build your own cable or continue watching for details. Now let's remove these upper two pins of the DIN connector. Okay, it seems that we got rid of the upper two. And hopefully this is going to fit into the Commodore 64's video port. Let's try it. Yes, it directly fits into it. Great. Okay, it seems that it fits directly. So we can continue with the soldering. First, of course, we'll have to cut our um, RCA cable into half. And we will use only one portion of it for sure. So the first thing that we are going to do is again cut this RCA cable into two. So let's do it. Okay. I will just cut it into two. So actually we can make two cables if you want. Actually, we have three RCA jacks. Actually, uh, we can use one for uh, the video, for example. Uh, it's better to use the yellow one. 
and two others for the uh, audio left and right however since the Commodore 64 is only mono uh, we can give the same output to the red one and the white one so let's strip off the cable okay now as you can see we have uh, three uh, cable pairs red white and yellow and uh, they have the ground with them so uh, but it's better to check uh, if there's continuity with the, with the lines let's use our voltmeter for this so let's check the continuity for the lines uh, for example let's uh, try to see uh, if the red ground is this one that I'm holding right now Okay, so yes, so this is the as you can see, and for the ground for the white cable, yes, okay, and the ground for the yellow cable. And also let's check the signal cables too. The signal for the red cable. Okay. The signal for the white cable. Last the signal for the yellow cable. Yes, okay. Okay, so let's connect all the grounds together first. Okay, I've connected the grounds for the red and white. So these will be our audio outputs. So this will be the ground. And it's okay if I connect these two cables as well because we are going to get we are going to solder it to the audio output okay so this is the audio part of the cable and this is the video part of the cable audio sorry video and audio video and audio so first let's insert this into this one yes nice okay so what we are going to do is we are going to connect the audio outputs this one to slot pin number three this and the ground will be number two which is the middle one and we are going to get the video output from slot 4 from pin 4 so it will be this one and again we are going to connect the ground to this so it's better to connect all grounds together now these are the grounds this is the video and this is audio so I will use uh, this heat shrink tube for the insulation I just need very small portions of it okay now we can uh, start doing the soldering so hopefully everything goes fine uh, it's going to be hard because uh, these are very close to each other and the heat shrink tubes that I'm using 
is very very uh, small so let's see how it goes after a very long soldering session now i hope that we made our cable actually I, i've made some differences now this will be the video and this will be the audio i didn't use the white one this needs to be the audio out so it has to be the Red one, I hope. Yes, perfect. This is the ground. So, and also this one, yes. And the video is for this one. Great. So hopefully this means that our cable is working, so we need to try it on our Commodore 64.